Again with the Bowser faces. I'm sick of looking at his ugly mug. Let's find the real Bowser and show him who's boss. And then I can meet Princess Peach. We're the Yo Ho Ho, it's Tail of the Toast, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Blind. And for some reason, we have to go backwards briefly. Why Super Shrooms? Why can't it be Ultra Shrooms from this point on? And to be honest, I'm not sure if a Super Shroom is even better than anything in my inventory at the moment. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably not going to use a Thunder Rage, but I'm probably not going to use a Super Shroom. So that answers that. Maybe you can be an Ultra Sh what a load of tosh. I still don't get why, um, what they're called again, uh, dry bones. Oh, I've reached maximum HP. Oh, I'm actually going to upgrade BP then. I know now of an item I was in, alerted of it in the comments by Popper's bunch of numbers, can't quite remember, but... And told me that if I trade my star pieces in for something called the Zap Tap badge, then that basically gives me the a permanent vault room, which sounds pretty tasty. The only problem is I don't know if I am likely to end up back in Shooting Star Summit again. You know, if for any reason I have to go back there, or there's an easy way to get back to the start of Bowser's Castle, then. Sure, I'll go back for it, but right now I think I'm a bit too far into uh, Bowser's Castle to backtrack. Oh, damn. Oh, this is gonna go wrong now. Yeah, oh, 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 well, I'll just do Fire Shell then. Well, I should have done one in the first place, but I was trying to be conservative with my FP. It was the wrong decision. But about Koopa Trolls, it turns out you might actually be able to fight them in Chapter 4. Like, I've just been looking up things about the game and then I remembered that Peach interlude where I... I oh know you're gonna summon another. Yeah, that Peach interlude where you, Bowser asks her what... Um, Mario's least favourite things are, and I was just completely honest during that uh, thing, like I answered from my own opinions and views. Like, turns out, some of the options were actually Koopa Trolls and possibly a Dry Bones as well, or something like that, so apparently you could have fought these much earlier on if you were really, like, even more stupid than me at that questions round. Like, I did badly, but I could have done a whole lot worse. Missed out on a lot of mushrooms that way, though. Uh, nothing over here, right? Not even a little secret secret. I'll, I'll keep watch trailing behind me for a bit, because damn, that, that defense penetration just is the best. The jam and jelly! That is definitely good for restoring FP. Do I really have the space for it when I've got two whackers bumps anyway? In all honesty... Well, I'm, I'm not going to use a mystery. Unless I was supposed to use that for some kind of story reason in this place, I don't think I'm likely to use a mystery. So we'll carry on... Whoa, we'll carry on. And... Uh-oh. Magikoop. Can I even get that thing? I could ignore it. <laughs> Onwards we go. It's, I don't think I've ever challenged a flying Magikooper in the overworld. Eh? Uh, hey? Um. Have I messed up? No. Ah, oh, I turned around and he still kept going anyway. Allow me to just check the top left of this place. If it's a shop, then somehow I've ended up where I was before. If it's a new area, then good. Okay, good. I haven't messed up. They just decided to reuse a room for some reason. Now, how would I... Oh. Ooh. Well, now I'm capable of getting up there. Wow, I've avoided so many enemies now. 
I want to get under leveled. Um, oh no, it's on a it's on a timer, isn't it? Well then, I know what to do in these situations. Bomet, you plant yourself there, and I will ignore the dry bones and try to get no. Nice, no, it's not happening. Well, uh, uh, I don't don't have anything else that I can place on the. Oh, uh, can I? No, I can't. Should I like if if I stood on top of one of them, then you know Cooper's not on the right level. Like, can I make Bomet fall off? Like, can I pick you? <sighs> Try again. Nice random pink and bright colourful colours by the way like can I drop you off the side almost come to think of it like go on get a little closer and just stay still wait I know what I can do another trick that I've learned you can you can press down on the C stick to make bombette explode early and now I've got an ultra shroom Ah, oh, the lack of inventory space in this game. Oh, well, I'm not going to use a Thunder Rage. It's just a worse version of the Shooting Star, which I already have two of, plus a whole mound of Fireball Storms. So, yeah, that, that wasn't even necessary in the end. And to be honest, I don't know if the way I pressed that switch was the way you're supposed to do it, but I did it, so I am the best. Well, I'm not the best, but... Is there going to be another Toad House over here? I don't desperately need a heal at the moment, but I'm sure I will later. So, hurry on down the stairs, old chap! Bomette's just going as fast as she can for a, a bomb. Okay, it looks like the, there is another Toad House, but I need to, first of all, actually free the Toad. And yeah, Bomette can do this fight, why not? She doesn't get to do much these days, so she will now. She will use... What do you even have? Mega Bomb! Destroy all enemies! Okay, try it! Four damage, not too bad. I assume his defense point kept him up a bit, but... You know, what is a little better for just dealing damage to a single target? I'm sure that's a good move for taking on multiple targets, though. But for now, we've got a single star point from that. There's something weird about Paper Mario. You know, you get just as many experience points at the start of the game as you do later on. And you don't seem to finish the game with a very high level. Like, I'm currently level... 23. But I'm in the last chapter. That worked fine, us. Thanks for coming. I can't believe I was captured so easily. How shameful. I bet Princess Peach is under heavy security. Oh, save her. But although the toads are quite nice, we've got a penguin. If I'd known this was going to happen, I would have gone home with Mayor Penguin. I wish I'd wake up in Shiver City and never have to leave again. Oh, oh, oh I feel so sorry for him. You know, he's been here in a year, in here a year just because of a little mistake. You know, he's, he's been in Bowser's jail that long when he could have just been in the safety of Shiver City, where he, he really wants to be. Ah, By the way, it's very commendable that Mario can, like, move while the camera's turning. I can, I still have complete control over him. And, like, it just works perfectly, even though the camera is literally moving around him. 180 degrees. But, yeah, I'll oh, save again, why not? I should just go fight that one dry bones now I feel, but... Nah. Let us carry on, Barakari, into the next corridor. Why is there two carpets? I, I can give you some credit for something, Bowser. 
Like, when you've got two paths, you have two carpets. You've got an eye for this sort of thing. You know exactly what to do. I suppose I should equip another badge for the time being using my new FP. You know, I haven't actually... Well, like, if I get the Zap Tap badge, then I'm putting that straight on. But I do not currently have the Zap Tap badge. So, you know, I should not just waste it. I should fill it with something else. And now that I use Fire Shell this much, maybe I should have F upgraded FP after all. Oh, well, I can always put an FP badge on. To be fair, wiggle wiggle warm. So I wonder if... If I took off my HP plus badge, would I then be able to level it up again? Or is it just like the heart badge from Skyward Sword? It just gives you an extra boost no matter what. Anyway, I will just pick some badges. Although this triple dip item is very curious, I'm just going to go with an FP plus. Simple as that. Let us carry on. There's a door already. Well... I'll follow the other carpet and take on this Hammer Brother. You know, I took out that Hammer Brother and friends with a uh, Star Storm. It's only just occurred to me. I have Star Beam now. Maybe I should try it. And we heartily carry on through the door, presumably to get a key from somewhere else. There's a Magic Koopa, but okay, it, it's a parallel of the puzzle we just did with Bombette, except probably harder. And there's also the fact that I probably didn't do it right in the first place. Um, pray to a brand new god. I don't want to, but okay, I will. Up, up, and away! Okay, I only worked on two of them. Yeah, I've got Star Beam, but the description makes it sound as if it won't do anything to anything that's not Bowser. Like, they said this, it seemed the same when I first got it. They only described what it does to Bowser. And even the now that I've got it, it still just says it's believed that it negates the power of the Star Rod for a while. But is it a massive laser as well? I'm not too sure, but I'll probably try it at some point. But that time I wanted to give up, up, and away a go instead. Now, how do I actually get her off the side? Go on, go, pow! I do hope there is a better way to do that, and I'm just kind of breaking the game. Breaking the game, I'm going to roll my R's. For I must enunciate how much I am breaking the game. Okay, let's just head through the door, which we are now able to unlock. Through we go. And this is a big open place. Probably got a fight involved. Uh-oh, branching paths. I've never been a fan of branching paths. Which one is correct, which is not. I guess I'll go for this one. That's probably not the one I was meant to go. Oh. Well, what a waste of time! Why did they have two doors when they both lead to the same place? Ah, uh, now there's two doors again, isn't there? Yeah, except that time it dropped me out of a hole. Uh, oh, it's gonna be one of these, isn't it? Like the last level of Super Mario Brothers. I think I probably need to listen closely for visual cues. Because there'll be a correct one and there'll be an incorrect one and I need to figure out which ones to go through. Oh dear. How do they even make these things? What, what's over here then? Yeah, can I go backwards? No, I'm totally lost now. I don't even know how I'd get out. Like, even if I wanted to just give up and end the episode, I don't know how I would even do that. This way... Um, well, that's probably a way out, to be fair. <laughs> but, no, I'm not going to rely on that. So I'm guessing that when I actually drop out of that hole, that's when I've done it wrong. Okay, so I'm going to remember the path that I'm taking. Number one, upwards. Number two, downwards. 
Number three. Upwards again. The upwards and downwards seem to be correct. Anyway. Okay, upwards, downwards, downwards. And I don't know if there is a, an audio cue or not, because I can't really hear. My, my TV volume is just about on, so I can get... You know, I can just about catch the background music, but not notice anything like a, a subtle hint. Right, I've done upwards, downwards, downwards, so now I will do upwards. If I fail here, I will just cut, I'm sure. Uh-oh, there's another one. Um, up. Ah! Thank heavens for that. There was actually another one after that, which I didn't even put on screen, but I think the correct pattern was upwards, downwards, upwards. I'm just going to use, like, time out. No, not time out. Up and away again. Yeah, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards. I think that was it, but how about I just never go backwards ever again, and then I'll never need to know. I hope I still get experience for those enemies that I insta-kill. It does seem to be an almost superior firewall store. I mean, it's better in some ways, worse in others. Like, it automatically kills some of the enemies, but leaves some of them untouched. So I guess it's just down to personal preference. Personally, I do prefer Starstorm, if anything, just because it allows me to yell a bit. Up, up and away, that's a bit subtle, visually. But it definitely works. I can't deny that, and thanks to the spell, I was able to take out the Koopa... Oh! No, up and away sucks. Never mind. It just sucks. It, it just... You don't get experience for the enemies that you send away. Carrying on. Oh, that time it did six damage to the Hammer Brothers and seven to the Magic Hooper. Bomet, you're proving your worth now. That was even better than a fire shell. Of course, it used up more FP, but yep, that was a good move. Meanwhile, Ominous Bridge means something important coming up, and we've got a heal block as well, and a long corridor. Are we going to be having a save... Oh, God! Oh, that scared me! <laughs> Just, like, I know Peach isn't meant to be scary, and I know this isn't going to be Peach, but still, that... Because she looks so out of context, that just scared me. Yeah, I'm. I don't. I don't believe you. Yeah, you're not. You're not letting me through the door. I don't believe you. But we're gonna be seeing what this peach is really up to in the next episode. All right. Tata for now.